I'll tell you Y'all what, don't no know about a- history, man. Y'all don't know about history, bro. Brendan doesn't know about history, dude. <laughs> dude, I don't. You uh, definitely don't, man. Bro, you, you don't know about history, dude. Name something from history. Dude, you name something. <laughs> name something. Name a history book your mom read to you when you're homeschooled. The Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Damn, Theo. What is that? What is that? Gucci? Is that a Gucci top from the North Pole? <laughs> this is Balenciaga, baby. Damn, daddy. That's yeah, that, that, uh, that's that fancy. Francis, this is Macron or something. Francis Macron or whatever. Damn. Looking fly <laughs> out there in Nashville, man. <laughs> Francis yeah, this Macron. Rob Ford, baby. You know, it's that nice shit. Damn. Santa got paid this year, Daddy. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely a loner. One of the arms itches in it. Oh, it looks like it. Oh, where's it been? Now? The sled got some spinners on it or what? I'm afraid to reach in there. I think this was Cat Williams at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the cat, bro, because this thing's dandered up, boy. If you look down one of these things, boy, you could hear a meow every now and then. I'm allergic to them bitches, so fuck them cats. You're allergic where's to that cats? Little, where's that little sesame cinnamon stick you got over there? Where is he at? Oh, you're talking about that little fucking egg roll? You're talking about Stevie? Dude, yeah, someone, little- he, he went to the strip club without the cats crew, and I think he got pink eye from yeah. somebody farting his face. Yeah, or he was he had his nose in somebody's butthole for sure. Right, who gets pink eye at his age? Look at him. Who gets <laughs> pink it. eye at his age? Talk First about, of all, talk about I can't come in today, guys. I got look, pink eye. You notice uh, how uh, Steve has no under eye? Like there's no definition. It's just yeah. it's just eye. It's just cheek and eye are like combined. Look. Asian person saying they got pink eye, that's the dog ate my homework of white kids. Okay, so. Facts. Facts. Because you get pink eye, man. Just the surface is tough, dude. Yeah. Let's be real here. Do we really think I got mean, pink eye? I just didn't feel like doing the Christmas episode. Maybe he forgot a gift. I forgot a gift. <laughs> oh, no. He said, dude, there's pus coming out of my eye. I feel horrible, dude. What the Ew, fuck? Oh, pus coming out of It could be actual eye. puss if he was at the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to zoom in, and he was, he was not he, having he it. He was offended. <laughs> oh, of course, he's offended. He was offended? <laughs> God, you, you don't have AIDS, Stevie. It's fucking pink eye, dude. Yeah. He said grief. it was an offense to his dynasty. I'm like, you don't have a dynasty, dude. It's, <laughs> the lead it's you and Bob. Yeah. It's a very soft dynasty. He is. Not- I mean, I don't want to be like fit the stereotype or anything, but like, <laughs> I can't see the pink eye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'm with you too. I'm with. No, I, I'm with Eric a little bit on this. It just looks like he's been crying. It just looks like his regular eye. Yeah, it looks like he's been crying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all cold, baby. Y'all wrong, man. <laughs> oh man. Yo, that's, that's, probably, that's probably a difficult. That's probably a maybe more Asians have pink eye than we know. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna it's you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, I'm staying a little bit away from this one, Chin. When Chin says that's borderline and Chin, I'm just kidding though. But yeah, it is bo- It's getting there. It's, we're getting there, but also, <laughs> hey, yeah. we didn't say his car, wait, we didn't say his car insurance rate went up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like if the three of us say, "Hey, man, these allergies are popping." We all got noses on us. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. well, that yeah makes sense. Thank you. A lot of Asian, a lot of Asian folks, uh, also. They um here we go. Here we, they go. Have a, <laughs> we tried getting past it. This is called no, the, this start. is called the racist rev up. Go yeah. ahead, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, man! It's yeah. called circling back around race. Is yeah. it, Theo? You, you, you just hear vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> I'll tell you Y'all what. Don't no about a- history, man. Y'all don't know about history, bro. Brendan doesn't know about history, dude. <laughs> dude, I don't. You uh, definitely don't, man. Bro, well, you, you don't know about history, dude. Name something from history. Dude, you name something. <laughs> name something. Name a history book your mom read to you when you're homeschooled. The Alamo. <laughs> I don't know much about history. I'll tell you what, I'll no one's inviting the, the three of us to a cocaine party with these noses. Yeah, well, I wouldn't do cocaine anyway. Dude. Look, I saw a gal one time in Asia eating <laughs> bird feet, the talons, not even grilled or nothing, just straight. <laughs> Oh, like I the mean, nails? fresh like, off the like branch. the talons, Far, farm to table type of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was flock to table. This thing had been. <laughs> this is sky to table, sky to table, uh, flock to table. Oh, I think this thing <laughs> that, had. That's uh, not like a good Asian restaurant. <laughs> flock to table. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
Dude, I saw her open a bag on a train and just eat the talons on the train, man. And then she spit the little fingernails or whatever in her oh hand. Oh, my God. Savage. I thought it was pretty hot. Oh, yeah? You turned on by it? Not turned on, but not turned off. You know, I at least was I feel intrigued. You, you appreciated it. But, Chen, a lot of Koreans and different people like that have... Uh, they they're they're not afraid to eat stuff like we are here in America. I mean, Fear Factor is basically lunch over there. <laughs> I got to be honest though, man. Brennan knows I eat like I love eating kind of organs, all kinds, mm -hmm. all, yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff. Even blood, coagulated blood. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah. Dim sum. Yeah, but then you liver. Can't have, but then Asians can't have like milk. Yeah, we're like most of us are lactose intolerant. They can't have cheese. Yeah. But I still eat it all the time. Oh, you eat cheese, Jim? Yeah. Oh yeah, stinkiest one. But you shit is, your is pants. one I like the most. No, Ugh. I'm good. And what's a what's a harsh cheese on an Asian? Uh, a harsh cheese, maybe a Havarti. Ooh, <laughs> check out the big brain on Chan. <laughs> maybe oh, we are fancy. You just you just oh, made, what you about just, red you just cheese? Made, you just made both these. Yeah, white what about guys? that red cheddar? You see what about these that red guys cheddar? Were like, ooh, I know. <laughs> Me and Theo love cheese, man. We're like fat mice, dude. We mm -hmm. love us some cheese. Gang, What's going baby. on for Christmas out in Nashville, Dill? You staying out there? You're going to see the family in uh, New Orleans? I'm going back to Louisiana, brother. That's what I'm doing, man. Merry Christmas to you guys over there, man. I wish I, wish I was over there with you. Merry and Christmas. Uh, I'm just glad that uh, I get to be here with, today and we all get to be together, yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to Louisiana. What are you guys going to do? I'm looking for my Christmas bonus uh, <laughs> envelope. Where's that? <laughs> oh, this is like uh, Christmas vacation. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's a great question, man. Where is that yeah, shit, Yeah, where's Brenda? the Christmas? I, I'm looking and I don't see the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's up there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing for Christmas, Eric? I'm just hanging out here with Rachel. I'm, I'm, I'm just whoever... Yeah, Brendan didn't even answer. Brendan didn't even comment. He just said, what you doing, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> just moving past the bonuses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know this is like mom and dad, and you know, they didn't get their check this year, so there's no presents under the tree. That's these two. <laughs> Man, we didn't even talk about this. Y'all be, some be the worst gay dads ever at Christmas. <laughs> no, we'd be awesome, man. <laughs> what? We'd be awesome. Well, I'm not being a gay dad. Yeah, you are, dude. Yeah, you are. You'd be hey, You would not, be my gay dude. dad, man. Yeah. My gay soulmate, dog. You, you, and you would be a great couple. Uh, uh, and he, just, he would, he that. would keep trying to, he would like, like keep trying to adopt kids, but they would keep giving him ethnic ones. So he would just keep going and going and going until he got. They're a, like, this is the ninth one. It's just not working <laughs> out. He's like, mm, yeah. Do you have any white kids? <laughs> <laughs> but he wouldn't say it like that. Do you have any ones that are same? Mm. <laughs> not so tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, you got eggnog. You have any? Oh, I don't. If something a little more Nordic. Okay, I was about to say, I don't do eggnog. Eggnog. <laughs> I don't do it either, but I'm doing it today. Eggnog is Egg. thick. It's Cheers. super thick, yeah. Cheers, Cheers boys. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Because I don't drink. You didn't put alcohol in this, did you? No, no. no, no. It's just eggnog. Why, uh, yeah, it tastes really eggnog. delicious. How you don't do eggnog, Eric, but you look like you do eggnog. <laughs> really? <laughs> Say you drink eggnog without saying you drink eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> That's Eric. Taste some Eric. I don't like it. All right. You don't really know. <laughs> he would like not do well in Fear Factor. And yeah. dude, oh, eggnog no, no way. sounds kind of it's kind of racist, huh? Yeah, a little bit. You have mm -hmm. too many whiskey eggnogs. That, yeah, well, that nog starts turning a little. Theo different. makes any word with N and G in it racist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. If it's That's got not <laughs> true. <laughs> See, Damn, even boy. how he said that, I went, ooh, I don't like how he said not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that boy. That was a hard NG on that one. <laughs> now, is these David Nodders. Dukes giving Theo a fucking fruitcake this year? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. A little fruitcake. Dude, is there a bigger fruitcake than you, son? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, baby. Hey. Fruit at the bottom, fruit at the top. This <laughs> fruit the in the middle, Doug. Oh, Ooh. bro. This little cup of brogurt over here is the damn freaking fruitiest <laughs> thing I've ever seen, baby. Let's take a little break with the shenanigans, the Christmas shenanigans with the Cats crew, because guess what, man? You know, it's winter, dude, and a lot of y'all getting sick out there, and the cold is popping. Your boy had a cold, and thank God I beat this flu season or whatever it is because, listen, I'm all athletic, greens up. That's right, the health and wellness company that makes comprehensive daily nutrition really, really simple. All right? They got you covered, man. AG1 by Athletic Greens, the category-leading superfood product. All right? 
They have comprehensive and convenient daily nutrient for everybody. All right. One tasty scoop of AG1 contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients, including a multivitamin, multimineral, probiotic, green superfood blend, and it's delicious. Listen, it's tough to fill in the gaps of your diet, but AG1 does this for you, man, and it tastes fantastic. And it's a powder, no pills, none of that stuff. All right? Join the movement of athletes, comics, moms, dads, rookies, first-timers, podcasters. We're all doing it, man. You need this. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you an immune-supporting free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase if you visit athleticgreens.com slash cats today. Again, all you got to do, go to athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S to take control of your health and give AG1 a try. Listen, this holiday season, give yourself the gift of some delicious food, whatever it is, man, for the family, for yourself. Grubhub is the perfect gift for everyone on your list, including yourself, guaranteed. All right, this holiday season, give the gift of Grubhub. People will love it. Whatever food you're looking for, get delivered to the crib, family, friends, holiday party. Grubhub does it all. Grubhub gift cards are the perfect gift for everyone on your list, guaranteed. What do we got, Nick? Uh, so we got a lot of Christmas related submissions today and makes doing, sense and we're doing white elephant at the end but this guy has a question yeah. about Jake Paul Tyrone Woodley damn daddy is sweating in this fucking I told you you were gonna be oh, insane. So hot. what are you doing <laughs> I'm take so that hot. shit off you already got a fucking sweater on I'm doing it for the game <laughs> y'all stripping y'all stripping, y'all stripping. <laughs> what is up King and the Steam crew it's Andre from Oklahoma here excuse my voice these allergies in the Midwest are kicking my butt preach but Everyone in the studio, if you watched it, if you didn't watch it and just seen clips, I just wanted to get you y'all's thoughts on this Jake the Problem Child Paul versus Tyron the Chosen One Woodley 2 fight. If you've seen it, Jake Paul, I mean, put Tyron Woodley to sleep with 50 seconds left in the sixth round, which is crazy because even being a Jake Paul fan, I had Tyron Woodley winning at that point. Mm-hmm. But if y'all watched it, I just want to get y'all's views and thoughts on it. And hey, have a great day. <laughs> Hope y'all are going to have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a question. All right. So I'm not a, I'm not a fight aficionado or nothing like that. You guys know I don't like this kind of stuff, but I did see it's that. Too violent. Thing. You, too saw, violent. you saw the clip. I saw the clip and I was All like, right. wow. But let me ask you this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who is, is Canelo like a, the premier boxer yeah, right now best in the world pound okay. for pound number yeah. one all right best in the world so if you're a fighter uh-huh. would you take a fight with canelo with two weeks notice absolutely not right and why is that because the level he's at i mean the, uh, his last fight a guy did do it on i think a three-week notice i know. you're also talking about a guy who's been boxing since he was eight i know but what i'm saying though is that what i'm saying is a Brandon, guy like, no pedophilia dog <laughs> sorry dog. Just trying and, to give him the facts you know i know but what i'm saying is like it's a to me it's a lack of respect for like to think that yeah I'm just gonna take this fight within two weeks. Well, hold up, for Woodley this was kid. Woodley was training. He thought Tommy Fury was gonna pull out, so he's been training. It wasn't like well, he was that on makes the couch. It, I'm saying that makes it even worse because to me, I think it's time for Jake Paul to fight a real boxer because mm-hmm. he's gonna really hurt somebody. Define real boxer. Though, I'm, t- I'm saying somebody that's like because this guy that I, he we, fought we, wasn't necessarily a boxer, ah, right? You're was he a about, boxer? You're talking about a Hall of Fame. Uh, UFC fighter. I know, but isn't box just because you're good at UFC doesn't mean that is, is UFC no, it a is, combination of is, all that yeah, stuff? It's different, but at the same time too, like so he was supposed to fight Tommy Fury, who, right. who's supposedly a quote unquote boxer. Tommy Fury's an easier fight than Woodley for him. Mm-mm. You think so? 100%. I don't. It didn't look I, I, to me. Well, the, I like I said, my ignorance, my I, my naivete about this. It looked like that dude was not ready to be in the ring with him. Yeah. It, 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 like, because, like, you know, anybody, uh, th- th- is this right? Anybody can get caught at any particular time, right? Yeah. Anybody, yeah. no matter who you yeah. are. And I just, I don't know if that guy had the, the it didn't seem like he had the techniques yeah. to, like, protect himself. I mean, he could have killed him, man. No. That, he could have killed him. Look, that yeah. was a vicious ass hit, man. Vicious. They dr- and first of all, they dressed up little Tyron as a da- you know they dress him up like a damn little Christmas ornament out there, like a little uh, Christmas ornament, something you'd buy at like a gay gas station. Like a little Santa thought. <laughs> Talking about a little Santa thought. 
I mean, whoever dressed him, bro, you a knew gay, from out a the gay jump. gas station. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just is, saying, is, bro. Is it called 69? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fill up 69, bro. <laughs> so, you know, they dressed him up out the gate. You know, they had him looking a little Christopher Robin out there out the gate. <laughs> then, you know good and well, Brendan, that Tyron Woodley has not been the same guy for the past three years. I don't Correct. think. He has, and a, I he has won a fight in his last respect. six fights. He, he, I say this out of total respect. He was 0-4 in his last four fights in the UFC. I don't think he is mentally in the same place that he was. Spot on. So yeah. it's almost like beating on somebody that is not mentally well. That's what I personally felt like. I don't mm. see. I, I wouldn't say mentally well. I think it's like beating on somebody who is just doing it for the payday. Like, Which, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not doing the same things that got him to the <clears throat> world championship level. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. He didn't look like he, he was ready for the fight. And I just feel like it, I think that Jake Paul, at, at this point and now, it's like, you need to fight, hold, be a be fight like he, a guy that's boxing he, he, all the time. Here's the thing, though: all the hate on Jake yeah. Paul and stuff. No, no, I this get. is no hate. No, no, I, no, I get it. Everyone's a fight a real yeah, box, stuff like hate. that. Go, go to any whoever name a box that you guys like: Tyson Fury, I don't Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, any Mexican dude, sure, <laughs> Julio Chavez <laughs> Senior, Junior, whoever the fuck you want, Canelo. Their first four fights. They were fighting cans. Of course. That's how it should be. Yeah. I know. Jake Paul's first four fights are way more difficult than anything your favorite boxer fought. Well, like, you, you have to give yeah. the guy credit at some point. Well, he also had in his contract, you can't knock me out. So that's, that's not true. That's, that's not true. That's not real. That's not real? Thank that's you. Fake. Thank that's fake. Good. That's, fake. that's been debunked. Well, look. Yeah. yeah. I was jealous of the rest that Tyron Woodley got. I mean, you saw him go to. I mean, I, I you can't even get yeah, sleep like that yeah, anymore was, as an adult. That yeah. five minute power so, nap. Yeah, that was like. Good. Oh, dog! Ooh, I, I was like, damn. That put wrap some, me up in a Hampton Inn, son. Let's do this, boy. Yeah, and nah, yeah, we, we can figure that, that out. Phil. You come out here with the shit you give me. I'll I'll give you a quick nap, brother. If that's what you're looking for. <laughs> Dude, and look you, at that's bad. And look at the ref too. The ref is like, oof. Yeah. The the ref's like this. Yeah, yeah. We got the ref's get, yeah. motion like, uh, uh-uh. uh, this is done. Yeah. But listen, you do that to Woodley. Like now, to your point, like you want to see him fight a real fighter, quote unquote, boxer. You're gonna get it. You no, flatline no, no, no. Woodley. You're gonna get oh, it. Oh, but here, okay. Here's let me ask you this though. Let me. Ask, oh, I'm so. I'm, you just remind me. So both of y'all, Theo, everybody in here that's into the fighting. All right, so let's say he wants to fight Canelo, who is like the champ. Not right? happening. Okay, but listen. Okay, go ahead. This is my whole point. It is a lose lose for Canelo. 100%. All right. And it's a win for Jake no matter what. Mm-hmm. Right. Because, mm-hmm. like, even if he just getting in the ring. Well, with that's him, Logan Paul, Floyd Mayweather. No, but but that's different because Floyd is he already retired and he already did that other ridiculous fight with the other guy that he could have demolished, but he for the money, he, he let it go. Mm-hmm. You know You know what I mean? Who? What, 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 George Orwell or whatever? No, no, no. The uh, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. He he could have he could have killed Conor McGregor in the mm. ring, and he just let him like he made it. Uh, he made it entertaining. That was WWF. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but what I'm saying is for like Canelo can only win if he does this. If if as soon as Jake Paul gets in the ring, he has to demolish him in a way that, hey man, there's levels to this. Canelo Don't, would never do it. He makes too much money. But to, but to, but, I'm, but what I'm saying though is like. It's like when I right. had I was center in seventh grade and I had to face a female nose tackle. It was a lose lose for me. Yes. Even though she, yeah. she beat your ass, Nick? No, no, I shut her down. But I don't care. <laughs> no one cares. Nick's yeah. all I shut pancake that bitch. Not a big deal. <laughs> I, I she was she was about twice my size and I cut block her the whole time, but she didn't get any tackle. Oh, no, but, but it Damn. would be, it would nice, be Doug. She it landed would, on top of me every time. All right, <laughs> all right Jeff Saturday. <laughs> but it would be like a um it would be like a social influencer starting to do comedy and then He's now co-headlining with Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. And then yeah, that would be a, that'd yeah. be a victory, even if, if you're ready or not. You'd be like, I did it. I worked my way, and I got this guy to Unless fight. Unless you me. get knocked out in 30 seconds, and well, you're the mean Pauls, for the rest yeah, of the years. The Pauls, the Pauls have put themselves in a great position. Yeah, I you agree. Know, a great business position. Mm-hmm. It's a great business move. It was before the holiday. People are sit and people are curious. People want to. You know, it's entertainment. The Wood, Woodley just doesn't let go with the hands. He just, it's not his universe. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, that, that, and man, that, that he, that he, could, he cooked Theo, him up. But, but Theo, does that imply then that he's not proficient in boxing enough to Agre- be with, yes, to 100%. be, to be only, with somebody that like, no, he's obviously, only four, he's only four and oh though. So there's people demand no, 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 to no, fight no, like not, Canelo no. and shit. It's I'm like, saying Woodley is not proficient in boxing. Mm. Yeah. That's my question. 
It, yes. it looked as I'll, if like it looked as if like that guy because they, even that move that what, whatever he did to make faint, him the, the yeah whatever he did the dude almost was like okay and then he just went like take my face and I was like god damn you see that in slow mo he got paid though so, and that's what he's some looking people for. think it was he took a fall some people that's think not he took a fall some, pe- some people are stupid Brandon you don't know. I know for a fact. I know Woodley very well. Uh, trust me, he did not take a fall. Ask your boy Dustin Poirier if Woodley took a fall. He he's really close to Woodley. Anybody knows Woodley? Trust me. Yeah, but why would he, he ain't saying, "Hey, I'll take a fall." You can flatline me in the right. Fucking why would he say that and ruin my career? Yeah. And now the chance for him getting signed anywhere else is not good. It's so. I want to see him fight again. What, what was the payday though? Again. How much did he get? Millions. Probably millions. Yeah. Millions. And Jake actually gave him Jake because of the rumors of the whole five hundred thousand dollars. Jake a gold stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> Jake actually put in the contract that Tyron Woodley, if Tyron Woodley could knock him out, if knock Jake out, he would give him five hundred thousand extra. That wow. was actually in their contract. Mm. These boys playing with some loot. Yeah, I wish it was. I wish it was all or nothing. You know, I wish it was like let's say the the the, the thing is like a fifty million dollar thing. You would Whoever go wins mm-hmm. gets fifty. You, you know, you say you're gonna get like ten percent to pay your fees and all your people. You get that, but it's yeah. like imagine if the fight was like you get. You know, um, if it's fifty million, you get forty-seven million if you win, and the other person gets three. Mm. I think they these motherfuckers would fight. Yeah, yeah. UFC's, <laughs> UFC's kind of like that. UFC's kind of like that. Yeah, but it's not the same amount of money though, right? Uh, at the higher levels, it is. Oh wow. Yeah, I think. Look, man, these guys did it. They put the show on again, yeah, and it's people a great show. paid We're to talking see about it. it mm-hmm. You know. And it's yeah, and I'm we're excited talking to see about what's it. next. For like well, he Ron said Williams Le'Veon Paper. Bell. They said Le'Veon Bell. No, that's not happening. That's not no, happening. dude. All I'm saying is, y'all boys are stupid. And, 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 <laughs> listen, I'm saying <laughs> this. Up. They need to put some respect on Jake Paul's name. That's yeah, my that's point. What I'm yeah. that's my point. I'm making. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, you I don't. Was he really yeah. training? Like you take the fight. Like come on, man. I think it's like yeah. no, like even if to me it's like. If, if I'm a fight, say Canelo, you you gonna need six months. Like, what's a what's a a proper training? A camp? Because style for, for cause guys, you like eight week, eight weeks of proper training. But camp. you know, just what, what, what's yeah. that that term they always say? Styles make fights, Correct. right? So, w- what about Tyrone Woodley? Style made him think that oh I'm a go I, I can hang in the ring with Jake Paul. because Jake has no experience and Woodley has a ton of experience in the right. UFC. That's what they were thinking. And Woodley yeah, knocked out plenty of people. Yeah, you have, yeah. but do you have again? I, I don't Hendricks. like that. But again, I don't like that comparison. I don't think, I don't think boxing and UFC need. They need to stop comparing the two. It needs, it needs that needs to end because it's not the same. It's not the yeah, same. but I think it's just these two. It's an interesting thing. You're like this guy has a lot of fighting experience. It's this just guy different. Is new yeah, to you're fighting. Right, you, what's that? I said you're right. Sorry, you're right though. Yeah, it's just enough. There's enough curiosity there, but mm-hmm. I think the curiosity is it might start wearing off or. He might just continue to beat uh, urban nope. men from different sports, which is what he's doing. <laughs> you, see, you, you see the lo- you see <laughs> that, the glee he had in that. And no, hey, th- I don't hey, like Theo. It. Wait, is Jake Paul the great white hope for you? <laughs> no, he's not. No. Are you secretly but I'm at home saying, like beat him down? <laughs> y'all need to get a real brother or get a freaking Vato in there, dog. I pick, dude. I know nine dudes that work at a car wash in Tucson that'll freaking go, definitely get, go twelve rounds. They got so, some hands. Giving them hands. You tell me, you boys oh. want to watch Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz? Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor? Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva? Now, I'd watch all of those. Yep, we'd all pay yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah. All right, what else you got, Nick? Uh, this guy's got a king of their sting it for us. But I think Jake Paul would knock McGregor out. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah! Wow! Hard take by Eric. Yeah, he's a lot bigger, man. See, like I'm fascinated if that happens. Yeah, I think he, would, he if he if he caught him, if you know, Connor's 190 pounds. I'll 100 percent steal that fight if that happens. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, I'm surprised BLM ain't getting at Jake Paul for some of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Where are they at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. What's up, guys? What's Jorge Masvidal? <laughs> Coming from behind the Christmas tree. Considering it's Christmas time, I got a king of the singing for you. Office slash work Christmas parties. I know I would never be caught dead there. You got the manager always getting sleazy with the ladies. Yep. Coworkers getting drunk and sloppy, yep. talking some bullshit. What do you? Where does this guy work? A strip club? My daughter. <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Cute kid, man. Oh, so cute. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, I think he's referring to that that cop, right? He was a chief police, and then what what cop is bodied up like this one, giving lap dances? Well, what are we talking about here? 
Can you see it, Theo? That so this uh, NYPD rookie cop? gives Lieutenant lap dance oh. at Wild Holiday Party now under investigation. I'll tell you what's wrong with this. What's up? <laughs> Look at her. She has some experience in the field. Okay, she's a cop. Can I? Yeah, that's a cop, Doug. Wow. Let's finish watching Eric, and you can get to your point. <laughs> she's lock me up. You feel it? Lock me up. Yeah, that is crazy. She's a cop. That's crazy. This precinct is lit, fam. <laughs> Hell <right>. yeah. <laughs> But that's New York, so they, they can't arrest people right now. That should be the new strip club in New York, Precinct 69. Hell yeah. Look, this, uh, go on, Eric. You were leading the charge here. What you got? Not everything should be on the internet. <laughs> like, I have yeah. I have zero problem with this. Like, mm-hmm. absolutely zero problem Me with too. this. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah. I'm zero. saying zero, zero, zero. They're at a holiday party. They're with, they're, they, they know each other. Everybody's friends. So what that this chick, hot chick, is a cop, and she wants yeah. to like you know have some fun at a holiday party. Agree. And then some idiot videotaped this, and they, and they put it out on the internet, and now we're shaming her and making this guy out to be a pervert. Well, he he's on Don't, leave. Hey, now. Let me put he's this on out. leave now. I know, but he, I know. And this it's is my, my problem with it is stop putting shit on the internet. Facts. Okay. Keep your okay. life to yourself. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Stop it. Yeah, all it's going to do is hurt this guy. And yeah. also, if you're cops, why are their cell phones out at this holiday party? Yeah. Also, look at his wife. Can't blame him for getting lap dance. What? That's his, his wife? That's his wife. And she was, she was actually pissed at the press. She was. Uh, they were like trying mm-hmm. to go past the house and ask her questions. She was like, fuck you, fuck you. Isn't there more stuff to be worried about? Yeah. She's right. Hey, man. I'm saying so whoever. And she looks like Honey Boo Boo. Whoever the rat is. Well, whoever here. the rat is at this party. That's why when you have like, yeah. even even take it to this level, like in comedy shows, that's why we started to do that thing where it's like, put your cell phone in the bag. 100%. Just, can we just live life? Can we experience this without it, be, without it being like, well, I have to record this. Yeah, be and then present. Now, be, be present. present. And now yeah. out of context, I have to do this. Yeah. I think this is terrible. I don't have no problem with her. Good for you. She fine and a cop, good for her, and and they and she was just doing her thing at a party that she didn't think this was gonna get you know put out on the internet like this. It sucks. That girl got skills. It sucks. Okay, hold on, fellas. What I'm saying is this, man. <laughs> when you defund the police, bro, you start getting some real second, third stringers in there. You get yep. strippers now or cops. You get an IT guy as a cop. Yep. You get a fisherman in there. He trying to catch a criminal on a damn uh, chicken liver or, ba- or spinner bait. You know what I'm saying? You get all type of – you getting some real different anglers in there. So this lady obviously – is a sexual worker or a dancer in a past life or at some time. Sexual being. But now with defund the police, they're letting anybody. It's like when the NFL was on strike and everybody's daddy was out there playing for the uh, Oilers. Yeah, it's called the replacements. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that, man. So that's who you're getting. You're getting the IT guy. He's out here. You know, he's. So I think you have a lot of people that aren't used to being cops. Um, and then also you got the surveillance department at the party dog. They doing their job, son. That's all they doing, baby. Haters, That's all man. They doing, yeah, my thing is like, was it worth it? That's all I said. Also, about like you film that, putting it out. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, was yeah, that worth crazy, it? Man. Was it worth it? Like, is a person that filmed that? What did they get out of this? You right. Know? It's not even like did they sell it? Did they? Did they? Was, I need to know that they made money off that video. Well, that, that's why if you go to like celebrity parties, even if it's just like a dinner or a kid's birthday party, and they take your phone, you're like, you believe they're doing something? Like, yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, me too. Because you're gonna put it on the internet. I just went to a, I just went to a like a celebrity type Christmas party, mm-hmm. and it was like you had to leave, you had to check your phone in, and I totally got it. My girl was furious because she was like, I want to take pictures. No, <laughs> this ain't for that. You know, and I was like, nah. Yeah. You know, it is what it is, and it's like, I, I, it to me, it's a shame that people. can't can't be present and just live your life without having to share it. That yeah. c- and then now out of context, somebody's life is ruined. Dude, he lost his, or he's on paid leave. And yeah. this is messed up. But also what they should do is they should tell who put the video out. Right. Yeah. The person, I'm sick of people being able to put videos out and there's no responsibility Preach, mm-hmm. for the videographer. You know, yep. Larry Elwood or whatever did this video. That way. <laughs> yeah, that was a black you, guy. That's whatever. Before you put a video out, you have to know, okay, am I willing to co-sign on this? Yeah. Everybody knowing that I'm the blaster. Because if I, yeah. The whistleblower. If I, if, if, yeah, if I'm a cop <laughs> in that station, I'm not trusting that dude who blasted that out. He should Shit. lose his job. Yeah. We can't trust yeah. the snitch. And they yeah. should put yeah. out the yep. name of the, the rookie cop, too. Yeah, and give her her Instagram and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, look, I, look, look, I look this, he, man. I think we need more like, of this type of stuff. Nick act like he's going to speed good. in her area. He want to he wanna like, wait, is that her? He just go drive fast by her. <laughs> Pull I'm, me over, girl. I'm with Nick on this. Lock me up, girl. <laughs> I don't know why they're blurring her face. She, she's I like, know. Yeah. Killing it. And oh, is speeding, this Nick. No. I don't know if speeding it would be Nick's crime. I think, what would Nick's, Nick's more of a peeping Tom type of vibe, <laughs> I think. I agree. Learn yeah. from the best, boss. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Nick, that'd be banging on his window. You can't sleep here. <laughs> Nick showing up with a white elephant gift out in somebody's outside of somebody's bedroom window. Yeah, Nick's getting arrested for like loitering or some shit in somebody's hot tub. But then I have the gift in my hand. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. true. Yeah. Ooh, what's this little? Bad? Bad. Let's get to this. Uh, she's got a king in her sting it for us. Hey guys, long time listener, first time caller. My name is Alyssa, and I have a king it or sting it for you. King it. Holiday road trips with your dog, your little furry companion. That's Penelope. Oh. She has been on a number of road trips with me from California to North Carolina and Texas, and now back up to Iowa again uh, to visit family for the holidays. So king it or sting it, road trips with your dog. Also, um, I've been waiting to see Theo in San Antonio or Austin for a long time now. Mm -hmm. I saw Brennan a couple years ago, and I've been waiting to see Theo, mm -hmm. my favorite comedian. Mm -hmm. That Netflix special was awesome. Loved it. Can't wait to see you live, hopefully someday soon. But you keep going to Ontario and other crazy places up north. Yep. Come down to Texas. It's it great. We won't bite. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Happy holidays. Hey, oh, there's boy. where my Christmas bonus went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we better fit the Hundo. Hey, <laughs> hard king. It sounds like she needs a companion, road companion. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. If, you, yeah, if yeah. you're looking for a thick ass elf, jump to that California trip. You let me know, girl. Yeah, that I, dogs on trips sting it. I don't want to see your dumb ass dog. <laughs> well, she might oh, be a totally oh, there. Punk ass that's, that's dog only, out of here. That's her road trip companion, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. She, get Theo in the back seat of that bitch. Yeah, no. Theo should be oh, in the front yeah, seat. If you need a rat. Nah, if you need a rat. rat maybe put back. me in that. Yeah. Put me in that trunk. You feel me? <laughs> what I'm saying is this, Mama. <laughs> I think you could drive anywhere you want. I'll let you drive around my neighborhood. If and and, and, and you could have all types of animals in your vehicle. Um. <laughs> But I think, yeah, animals have just a right to see America as everybody else, man. I think, <laughs> no matter who you are, black, white, uh, spotted, you know, otter, yep. hound, whatever, man, no. aviary, everybody has uh, yeah. equal opportunity, man, Native American. That girl needs to be safe going across the nation solo with that weak-ass dog. Yeah, it's not I'm like she's with, like, a German what? shepherd. Yeah, if it was, like, a You trying to get killed, girl? <laughs> yeah. They just caught a serial killer the other day. You should take uh, the president's old uh, shepherd. They just got rid of their dog. Oh, uh, they have a new one named Command or some shit. Mm -hmm. Biden thought it was a yeah. fucking werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> she was uh, Biden, that, girl, yeah. that, girl's, that girl's dove, though. What's, yeah, she, girl's, what's she doing traveling by herself? Though? That's what I'm saying, girl. You yeah, need security, girl. Uh, Y'all sound like some damn rapists, bro. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we we just sound thirsty. Wait, you want to be in her trunk. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> you talking about you want to be in her you trunk? She go around your like, neighborhood and surprise. get just a rat kid. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, who are you? You talking about you want to be in her trunk and have her stop at gas station and get Rhino 9000s? Yeah. <laughs> but he would already have it in the trunk, you know? Girl, you tired? Here's I don't a think Rhino 9000. 9, I think mm -hmm. they only make an 8700. <laughs> <laughs> and the lozenges are getting so big, you can't even get them down your throat. You're like, dang, I might as well. I can't. Well, that's what she I said. I can't even do this type of upper. <laughs> Listen, it's Christmas week, and DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the NBA, has a gift that will certainly put you in a great holiday spirit. New customers can bet just $5 on any NBA team to win 150 in free bets. If they're victorious, it's a great way to put in some extra jingle in your pocket. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, your Christmas can still be merry. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Basketball Contest. DraftKings has given all new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use promo code CATS, bet just $5 on any NBA team, and win $150 in free bets if they win. That's promo code KATS this Christmas week at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports brand partner of the NBA. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Minimum $5 deposit. $1 wager required. One per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 100 Gambler. 
<laughs> What's this guy want, Nick? Uh, so but let, hopefully she stays safe. Uh, mm-hmm. Brendan asked for people to send in some of their worst gifts, and we got a couple good ones. And then if anybody else in here remembers their worst gift. Worst gift. Dang. Dang. All right, worst present I ever got was also the best present I ever got. I got my bike back. I left my bike out a few too many times. Dad <laughs> said it's going to get stolen. It got stolen. <laughs> Six, eight months later. Showed up under the Christmas tree. <laughs> Fucking Santa stole my bike, but then gave it back. It's a Thank horrible Santa, gift. But it's fuck not- you, Santa. It sounds, sounds like your dad took the yeah, bike. It's like your dad you a is lesson. cheap. You know, it's yeah. like your dad is cheap and yeah, broke. Yeah, the cheapest dad in the world <laughs> hid your bike for yeah, six me, months. Let me steal this bike. Yeah, I'll bring it back out around Christmas. He'll be stoked. Oh no, what he did was he had to pawn it to pay to pay some bills. Yeah, and then he got mm-hmm. the money and rebought it back from the pawn shop. That's a terrible Under the guise gift. of teaching him a lesson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Terrible gift. Yeah, I remember That's when I was like thirty-one. Call. My my grandma gave me a blanket with an eagle on it. The mm. fucking awful gift. Awful gift. Damn, bro, that sounds like a nice gift. A blanket? Nah, I had a bald eagle on it. It was like a smaller blanket. I was 30, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds real nice. What'd you, get, what'd you get over 40? All your gifts are going to be shit. Yeah, I don't ask for gifts no more. Yeah, Rachel, people give you Rachel's, shaving cream. Yeah, yeah. People give yeah. you a hug. <laughs> yeah. People get, when you get over 40, they start giving you stuff that they think you need. So you get like nose hair yeah. clippers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they, you get, you know, so yeah, legit. you get some yeah. stuff like, yeah, this is some new deodorant. I think that you. Uh, I hate when they give me cologne. I'm like, Ugh. I don't really like this fucking Rachel set. gives me candles all the time. She was giving me candles Ooh, when we I first like started. candles, dog. Yeah, but for like Christmas? Yeah, that's a shit Christmas, gift. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the, I mean, I'd open and then have the nerve to wrap it too. So I'm opening it up like, oh, it's a candle. Oh, That'd thank nice you. for your bass. With your, what? your, 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 your I mean, bath true enough. What, what's, the, <laughs> yeah. what's the best gift y'all got? I remember my dad got me, remember my, my pet monster? And at the time, those things were hype. Mm. You couldn't get them anywhere. My dad found one at Toys R Us. Somebody returned it. Mm. And my dad told me that they're all sold out. We can't do anything. And then my pet monster showed up. To, bro, I was so fucking crunk. I slept with that monster, wrestled with him, played video Ooh, games with him, stop there, put him on the back of my there. bike. My best game. Yes, with the chains on it. Oh, wow. And then they had a cartoon Ooh. of it. Oh, my God, I loved him. What's it? That was my best friend as a kid. An S and M thing you lot. into? Yeah, it explains a lot. That's why you a sexual. That was my deviant. best friend. Same nose as Theo. <laughs> you a sexual deviant because of this. Right has here. the same nose as Theo. And now Theo's my best friend. <laughs> it does have it Theo. It does have Theo's eyes. Have, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We could have some relation. I also got a Teddy Rupskin. I was also fucking hype about that. You remember <laughs> Teddy Rupskin? Oh yeah. You put Teddy the disc, Ruffin. you put the cassette in the back, and he talks to you, tells you stories. God, you were little, little baby, baby. You were like, yeah, what you was, yeah, getting. You, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, my parents love me. Oh, uh, here we go. Everybody. I got a saw one time. I got a saw. A what saw. <laughs> you got, you yeah. got tools. We got a battery charger one time. <laughs> hey, here's the thing about Teddy Rupskin. That that jaw that moves. That bitch is pretty fragile. His jaw fell off, and it was fucking terrifying for <laughs> well, many of that years. that sounds like you a sexual deep. That's what I'm saying. He was trying to put his dick in it. You know what I mean? Nah, man. That thing just <laughs> fell off. Like, Keep though. talking, Teddy. Keep talking, Teddy. Keep talking that shit, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> he cut his a hole in it. His jaw fell off? <laughs> yeah, his jaw fell off, man. I was terrified of that thing. The safe word was lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs> and then my brother got, you remember this? This is old school. My brother got a 3DO. You remember 3DOs? It was there's like Sega, Nintendo, mm. then there's 3DO, man. Oh, Brandon, yeah. where was you at? You know what? What realm you know, were you living in? I think I had one of those too for a second. Yeah. Uh-huh. Panasonic 3DO. Yeah, but see, I don't know. I had a Coleco Vision though. I think I got that for Christmas one year. You remember the Coleco Vision? Damn. What y'all live in? Y'all had a damn fireplace or something? Y'all fucking weirdos, <laughs> bro. Uh, wait, how? What is that three deal? And they had a, I remember they had a fighting game, and Rob Zombie did the music for it. God, it was lit. Oh wow, yeah, those were the days. Theo was pretty quiet. It didn't sound like he had many good Christmases. Theo didn't yeah, get he shit. Didn't have good Christmas. <laughs> I don't remember what we had, man. I remember we got one time we didn't have much, man. We got a dang. I remember mom gave us each a big two liter soda when I was young. Did she wrap and it? Everybody and put it under got the a tree, different though? kind. Was it root beer? Uh, no, I got uh, Diet Cherry Seven Up. Makes sense, thicker kid. Um, but did she? Put, did you guys have a else? Christmas tree, or did she put it outside at the tree outside? Was that the Christmas tree, or like, did you have Christmas trees? Yeah, we did. We had an indoor tree. My my mom and once decorated a, a palm tree. 
We always had a fake tree when I was a kid, and I had to put it together. Yeah, fuck yeah, what? fake. Who has real trees, man? It's a nightmare. Who makes their kid put together a fake tree yeah, for Christmas, I put my, man? And I had and like the Christmas lights. I don't know how they got tangled every single year. Nightmare. And then you if know? one was loose, they all didn't work. Yeah. So it was like, but I, I remember putting the tree together. Yeah. It was like a lot. That was like my Christmas was me doing that. Because my mom was working and stuff a lot. Mm-hmm. I was by yeah. myself a lot. <laughs> yeah, it right. sounds like you need a My Pet <laughs> Monster, Doug. Yeah. Maybe uh, yeah, I would have <laughs> fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have humped it. Yeah. They're all, uh, we're all talking about the gifts we received, but this person mm-hmm. uh, wants us, wants to let us know the best gifts they've ever given. I feel like Nick got some shitty gifts as a kid. <laughs> I always, really? I, I always got pretty, I got like one thing, one nice thing. Every, every yeah. One night. It was, my thing was always, yeah. it was always one nice thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A video game or something. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I got a computer one year from my big brother from Ooh, Big Brothers of America. Rich, rich. I know it was like the first. Big it was brothers, first, big brothers. Yeah, I, oh, like I was a big brother, of, big sister thing. Yeah, yeah. I had a big brother from Big Brothers of America. Was your brother was cool? Like seven. Wow. He's a cool, dude. I still, he's, I still keep in contact with him. Oh damn, yeah. you call him Big Bro? Uh, no, I call him David. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Big Bro, man. Oh, and um, he got me. Uh, it was like an Apple Two C. It was like the first computer I ever had. Wow. Damn, he actually oh, got wow. me. He got me two because I got, I got a Commodore sixty four from him. The fuck's that? Oh, that's beautiful. Calculator? That's nice Is that a calculator? Him, huh? No, it's a computer. It was the first computer. Yeah. It was the first it was a Vic computer. 20, and how 64. tall was he? What did he look like? Yeah, we're, we're white guy, black guy? Yeah, he was guy? a white guy. Jewish. Oh, yeah. man. Man, my, my stepmom it's a did cool the, dude. My stepmom did that big brother, big sister thing, and she got some Vato girl from fucking inner mm-hmm. city Denver, and this fucking kid come over. It was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, had, I had a big brother, and uh, I had what? him from, like, second grade. And I, I wanted someone who was, like, athletic, like, throwing <laughs> football and shit. Weird. And I got this, like, nerdy engineer guy who was really cool. He was the man. And I, like, once I got was going into seventh grade, I just, like, told my grandma I didn't want to go anymore, and I wouldn't answer his phone calls. And it's, oh, it's wow. Funny. You wow. ghosted him? I got to, like, reach out. It's, like, one of my deepest regrets. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. My, my, my work only <laughs> shit. God I, damn. That, you son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> that poor work. guy signed up to take you on. <laughs> he had to go through you, all that stuff, and too. And you fucking cold-shouldered this fucking guy? <laughs> he probably yeah. hates children now. God damn. Because of you. Before they he ghosted me, him. <laughs> they did a thing on the local news where they came, and they're like, this little boy... Wants a big brother. And Damn, I, you're on the news? Yeah. yeah Looking was, all sad? Yeah. They're like, what do you like to do? Wow. You mean they had you in the news like they do dogs? Like, please somebody come adopt this German <laughs> shepherd. Yeah. <laughs> in- and they were there all day, and then there was like 30 seconds. Oh. They just looked like a little bitch, and then I got <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 You damn. blocked him? I remember my big brother, uh, he t- the one thing, he, like, I was like, I was only seven or eight, and he took me to see a scary movie. Hell yeah. No, but mm. it was a double feature. I'll never forget it. What movie? We saw Phantasm, and um, it was Phantasm and the Fog. Yeah, was this in the 60s? Hmm. I will slap you. <laughs> Damn. I'll, no, I'll bro, run right after, early it, but I'll slap you. <laughs> Just pop, it was early get him, 70s. Get him, Jen, help me. <laughs> it's, I remember we went to Exorcism. No, but, you, but listen, the, the, the Phantasm was a scary fucking movie. It had this silver ball was flying through the sky, and it would like uh, it would it would like attach on a people's forehead and it would drill holes in their forehead and like blood would be everywhere and I just was like I freaked out and I was started crying and he had to take me out of the theater and I think at the time Damn. he thought oh you could take it you know he, you know, we're gonna go see a scary movie but then he was like in the movie yeah, he's, he's not like, a dad so he right, right. Know. Yeah, you know, he was like know. oh shit I should have done that and that freaked the hell out of me man I, I started like but I still I love scary movies now that didn't like scar me where I was like I can never watch a scary no. movie but like we saw it was a double feature The Fog and uh, this the fog was, was this a drive? Yeah, crazy yeah. driving? Eric's so old. The wet, different weather was uh, scary. <laughs> precipitation. <laughs> he went and saw precipitation too. <laughs> uh, you know, wind. Oh, have you seen wind, bro? It's fucking. You, you, that's you, a harrowing you ever seen fucking sp- movie. Sprinkling. <laughs> they, they redid the fog. They, you went to the original one. They the redid original it. one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sprinkling. <Yeah. laughs> Damn, bro! I heard they're your... playing hail over there at the new uh, at the new Cinema Seven. <laughs> hey, well, at least I had movie theaters where I grew up. Yo, these, these poor, these poor way. big brothers, oh, big sisters, trash. man. <laughs> <laughs> 
We would have to have somebody come back to the neighborhood and just tell us what happened at the no, movie. Theo, bro. Theo's movies were like you had to like have a white wall and like a light, and they would Projector. do and they would do fingers, <laughs> you know, and then the monster would come. <laughs> <laughs> Good, that's how you saw it. And they would sit and watch, and be like, ooh, <laughs> old school. They would, a bird came. <laughs> 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 that was Theo's movies. <laughs> What's this guy want, Nick? Uh, so we got one more before you do the gift exchange. This person wanted to let us know the best gift they've ever given. Very special submission. Brendan, Theo, Eric, and Stevie, and anyone else listening to this, this is Santa, and I've been asked by many people, what's the best gift that I've ever given anyone? Well, here's the answer. First of all, it's an unusual gift. I do not give many of them away each year. Most children, if you think about it, are takers. There are very few children that are givers. Yeah, they're greedy little folks. What fucks. I have here is a giver bell. <clears throat> now, let me explain to you what a giver child is. Oh, good grief. What are That's we... a child who writes me a letter <laughs> or comes to see me in locations where I'm at and says, Santa, I really don't need anything this year. I have everything I want. Mm. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to help out my cousin or my grandmother or my friend who's had hard times and whatever you want to give me, give it to them because they need it more than I do. That's a giver child. Many parents don't realize they have a giver child. Only 40 more seconds. We can't, <laughs> I have, we can't yeah. go yeah. Yeah. this far. And when I come this is what the Theo's child, dad looked like when I he was born. <laughs> this bill, I explain to them why I'm giving it. And then I bring the parents in. And I explain to the parents Nick, what are we doing here, Nick? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I don't trust this guy, man. I don't oh, no. trust any grown have, man who gets too into Santa, grows the beard out once a year. I don't trust those mall Santas, man. I've tr Look, I've met this Santa, and I know this man, and he's a good Santa. And uh, But that's a long video. That was a long, it was a long video. And I Hold but thank the weather you. outside, it's frightful. God, that dude was... Oh, it's a thought that counts, oh, though. I mean, Hey, I, Santa, yeah, I, it's an entertainment show, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I, Wrap it up, dude. Yeah, I thought he was going to bring out like an Ethiopian kid and be like, this is Mbaku. He needs... <laughs> you know, just get, let's give him some stuff. That's, that was a lot. Yeah, but, he, but we yeah, get yeah. it, though. We get what you're saying. It's best to give. Yeah, but also fuck that Santa. Yeah, but right? he was also like, he was also like, kids are selfish little fucks. And, yeah, uh, no shit. When, you know when what kid I mean? gets there, he's like, yeah, man, I want a fucking Nintendo. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? It's a kid, dude. Why he's, you make, you he's make kids feel You make kids feel guilty. Also, do they have to sit on your lap, you fucking pedophile? Mm -hmm. I don't think they, I don't are they even doing them, that dude. anymore. They are, dude. <laughs> yeah. But the, my son just went to when the Santa had a fucking like, mask on. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. A mask yeah, but, yeah, but, on. But your little, yeah. your little bruiser probably was going to kick him in the, you know. <laughs> I hope he would. I hope he would. Just kicked him in the belly. I don't God. trust I don't trust those mall Santas. Think about it, man. And it's if weird. you're in the Nashville area and you want to book this Santa, just go to <laughs> Santa at SantaClaus.org. Yeah, if you want him to read your kid a bedtime story so he falls asleep, <laughs> book this fucking Santa. Yeah, you should have cut to us and we're all... <sighs> <laughs> All right. Well, we should have just had him send in a one minute video, but look, what 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 is he trying to get across there, Nick, that man? The best gift he's ever given is his giver bell to children who aren't greedy fucks and complain about their gifts. Boring. Like <laughs> he 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 wants to show that uh, giving's good. And yeah, I, I didn't have the, the heart message. to make him do it again and make it a minute. He was like, I'm 73 and it's 9 p.m. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, he. he He's like, listen, dude, was, I've had ten fucking whiskey, fucking eggnogs, yeah. man. I'm trying my best here. Yeah, I get Christmas it. Christmas yeah. gift exchange dice game. All right. Can we play some white elephant? White elephant, it up, dude. Right. What does this mean? Explain it. <laughs> what is? Do, what does everybody mean? brought white, white elephant. elephant. Sounds a little. Yeah. Do we have to say white elephant? Can't just be an elephant these days. Good point. Or Good brown point. elephant. Okay. So all color elephant. We should all grab a gift. Okay. And okay. then from there, we'll... Uh, I guess I didn't read the email. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and this wasn't in it. This wasn't in it. But this is how you play the game. It's very simple. We'll all grab one off the table, and then there's exchanging based on what we roll. For years. Let me just bring up some money. You want me to roll first? I get some uh, money on my wallet? Grab one. <laughs> yeah, money works. You want me to grab Everyone grabs yeah. a gift. No, you grab it. Oh, I hope this is, is a calendar of Theo. Is this a gift? Yeah. Right, I'll oh, grab no, this. Oh. This is a gift. Okay, well, I'll take that one. <laughs> Does Theo have something? Did you send something there for Theo? I have one there. Yeah, Nick's going to open it up on my behalf for Chenwell, one of these guys. And mine, I think, hopefully, is cocaine. <laughs> Don't you have enough? 
<laughs> don't you got a don't you got a don't you got a local guy? <laughs> they don't make enough, brother. <laughs> Can never have enough. I'm gonna take this Was one even though I didn't bring a gift. Did everybody got one? Oh, you didn't bring one. I forgot to bring oh, one. Oh gotcha. That's Eric <laughs> fucked us. <laughs> Well, look, I'll sacrifice mine, Nick, and you guys can just play there, and I'll just be supported from here. All right, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Theo's, Theo's the giver the, bell. Give Theo's the air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the giver bell. I got Riley Mao here with me anyway in the studio over here today. So. Theo also has that Hawaii hat. We can toss in there. We'll just oh, that's a the good people point. in here. It'll, it'll make it easy. Yeah, that makes sense. See? It works yeah. out. All right, you want me to roll the dice? Uh, yeah, yeah. Four. What is that? Everyone mean? pass to the left. Pass to the left. the left. Oh, I get this little bullshit one. <laughs> and you guys can just keep the dice over there and roll for us. Go ahead. Roll. Go. Do I roll now? Him. Five. What does that Favorite mean? Number? Unwrap your gift. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was quick. That's fun. All right. That makes That's it easy. That's it? That's it? No, 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 no. The person who rolled it. Oh. Oh, okay. okay yeah. So you, whoever rolled it. Unwrap What'd you get, Brendan? That's your gift, Eric. No, so Eric unwrapped it. Oh, so it. I unwrapped this? Okay. Yeah, but someone could still steal it. Just because oh, this is a gift card. To AMC. Yeah, and there's a something else Ooh. in there, too. Oh, okay. Gift card to AMC. I that's, wish I would have known. Oh, with $10? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, so I can wow. get some popcorn, some liquor. It's a $15 Reyes. gift card to AMC. You can get AMC. popcorn, at, and that's it. You can get popcorn. That's all <laughs> I you need, Doug. I am almost positive that, that gift card is the one I gave for White Elephant last year. Oh, no, it's actually from our old school MJ. MJ oh. gave it to me. Oh, so it probably doesn't work? <laughs> no, it does. Hey, what is the total of $25? Yeah, $25. Oh, it does work. It does. That $10 bonus works. Works, yeah. baby, right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's more than Man. I expected from Theo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to roll for Chin? Why me? <laughs> roll for Chin. Uh, Brent is right you. there. <sighs> you want me to roll for Chin? Oh. We making yeah, yeah. you. We we bringing you in the studio. Four. <laughs> Four. Everyone pass pass to against the left. left. No, I'm rolling now. Uh, I, I'm. My oh. Turn. I got a four. Pass, Pass to the left. The left. <laughs> oh, sometimes I remember mom would play a song, and that would be, hey, this is your gift. Listen to this, you know? <laughs> this is this Journey song, kids. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even a gift, was it? Yeah. It was like, take me home. To see, like, what? <laughs> right, you want yeah, me to you can, you can listen, listen as many gym? times uh, as you want. Uh, four, we're going to now make open your gift because the passing is. Too much. So okay. four or five, and yeah. Yeah, put that Santa back on. This shit is killing me. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's that how bad bucket. it is. <laughs> uh, five. Unwrap your gift. Unwrap your gift. So this is it. Yeah. Or did I get my gift? Put, Mine smells like dog old, food, man. Oh, my <laughs> God, dude. Put old Giver Bell Wilson back on there, man. This thing. Well, I got Blind Fire. I don't even have a DVD player. <laughs> Blind fire. That's a condom flavor, isn't it? Holiday nog, non alcoholic, boring. <laughs> Oof, nobody wants this one. <laughs> Brendan would not get the giver bell. Some UFC uh, trading cards. Oh, yeah, love that. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, open it up. Some open Rhino 9000. Oh, this, dude, this is. Is that really what that was? No, it's oh. hand sanitizer. <laughs> and some lit ass cookies. Oh, cookies are nice. Mm, yeah, that's nice. Somebody rob a Target? <laughs> is that what this one is? Yeah. Brendan, or Eric, you're going to All right, I'm rolling. Yeah, that looks like a lost and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Make two people swap gifts. Yeah, please, I don't want this. Please yeah, so, bro, yeah, Brendan. No, Brendan don't even want it. Where's, where's the Brendan movie? Brendan got all that I got my nice own gift. Yeah. Yeah. Even Brendan, swap it. with Chin Let's so you can, so you can go to the movies. Yeah, let me go to the movie with my fucking kid. <laughs> Yeah, y'all got to go see Spider Man. It's really All right, good. Uh, your your turn. There's also Sing Two out. Which, oh, that I liked Sing One. Me too. Yeah, Fine. that was good. Unwrap your gift. All right, should we just, right, here? Here. Should we just right, so call it here? Should we just call it here? Because I can't take this anymore. All right, cool, perfect. Everybody, open their gift. All right. My favorite gift is a giver. I bill. Switch to somebody too. My my favorite gift are the kids who don't <laughs> ask for shit. <laughs> I got a book. Yeah, you got a military book, book, man. You got to hold it up for everybody. Now it's also made out to Joe Rogan, too, so that's a special book. It's intended for Joe Rogan, but they send it to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there, there, is there a thing? Yeah, read the thing. Oh, for Joe Rogan. Thanks for always supporting our veteran mm. tribe and always sharing There you go, Eric. The great story. You did it. Oh. Yeah. Did you buy? I don't know. Joe Rogan. It is by... Uh, Scott. <laughs> Damn. Somebody. Scott Brennan Halsey. can't even read a full name, bro. <laughs> Brennan can't even read a full name. I couldn't see it was blocked by Eric's arm. And there's like. Oh, no. That, that's for my shoes I'm wearing. But this is the book. This is the gift. 
That's it. So you got a shoe bag and a book? Yeah. So you took the good gift. You took the shoes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got, this one was from Theo. What is it? Okay. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Watkins' uh, Family <laughs> Union special. The vinyl. The vinyl. vinyl. Oh, that's wow. going to be a collector's item. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Stevie missed thanks, out, man. Yeah. Here, thanks, Theo. You betcha, man. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> oh, do we open Theo's? Uh, oh, that's oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So There's one there. That one. Oh, open that one right in front of Theo open right there, Open mine, Kyle. please, Chin. This is oh, actually, Kyle's going to do the honors. This is actually mine. Oh, it is? It was on an Amazon yeah. box. I saw that. Yeah. I, yeah. Just, I just wanted to hide it. You might have to really rip it out of there. Yeah, he, 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 yeah just ghetto ghetto. You know, you know it would be a great gift, Nick, if it was a picture of your big brother. <laughs> 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 Me and Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Kyle. Aggressive with a dog. What if it's glass, <laughs> man? Oh, my God. Turn the Santa video on. <laughs> There's <laughs> editing. Good grief. Boy, that Santa was not having it, huh? Come on. Put put some strength yeah. into it, man. What I like <laughs> is, is like... a child that can't even read or write. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah that Santa was yeah. like, you know how kids are full of shit, man. Uh, <laughs> nice, guy. Yeah. My favorite child I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> that Santa needs to get on that call map so he can put people to sleep. <laughs> yeah, into the mic, into the mic. Or someone, hold Here, let me, let me, give it to me. Come on. Yeah, give it to the front. Uh, it is The Wire Complete Fourth Season. That's fourth cool. season. <laughs> DVD. <laughs> Dude, That's good. Hey, the hey these the are the worst fucking yeah. kids of all time. No, he went, hey, to, the, he went hey, to the Walmart bin. Hey, the Wire <laughs> Complete Fourth Season on DVD <laughs> if you got it, season. kids. And just to, that's only disc two, episodes four through seven. But those are good And ones. then the West Wing. Yep, six season complete. So if you missed the first five, at least you get the six. <laughs> Another classic. Season. And then, dude, this is super special. What makes marriage last? 40 celebrated couples share with us the secrets to happy life. By Phil Donahue. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's been divorced three times, dude, my dad, Phil Donahue. Well, he, he got the secret. You've been married zero, so read it. <laughs> oh, you're right, dude. <laughs> yeah, I am O for O. <laughs> um, I'll say Brandon this, man. Eat. Phil Don, go on. This is insane. <laughs> Let me see. He's with some young chick with Botox <laughs> on the front. Brendan wants it. Yeah, <laughs> bro. These are the worst <laughs> gifts ever. Yeah. What makes? What do you mean, Brendan? Last? These are good gifts. Let me just go to a random page. No, and I'm see fucking what he says psyched here. about West Wing the sixth season. I've never <laughs> seen the first five. <laughs> President Bartlett, dude. And now you don't have to see the first five, dude. Dude, or The Wire, the complete fourth season? Fourth season only episodes four through seven? <laughs> what? Yeah. That was the season when they were at the school with all the children. Oh, yeah. yeah. What about episodes one through three, though, so you know what the fuck's happening? Yeah, <laughs> slow. <laughs> You'll be fine, man. <laughs> You'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Okay, Eric, You'll figure it out. Yeah. This is weird. You'll be fine, Brendan. <laughs> Just put one of them on and quiet down. And figure it okay? out. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's it. That's I think that's got. it. Well, happy holidays. Uh, Theo, Theo, have a great Christmas, brother, yeah, in uh, Louisiana. Yep, you yeah, too, man. Eric. Chen. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hugs, Nick. hugs <laughs> to all of you. You know, Kyle. But, yeah, what a, what a year, man. It's been a long year, and thank you guys uh, for uh, including me and put me, putting up with me when I'm in and out of town, man. Thank you very much, and I love you guys, and Merry Christmas. We got Riley Mao here, too. I don't know if – is there a camera on you, Riley, or not? No. Can he can – he, Oh, there is now. Do you want to bring him over by you? Just huh? If you can't, if you're only listening to us on audio, think he looks like Chin if Chin was 13. 13 yeah. or 12. Oh, welcome back, buddy. Yeah. So, welcome is that to, is that to get away from Theo? <laughs> oh, should we face like, him, Stevie? He's like, I got it. Oh, we yeah, don't blame him. Oh, I don't know if Stevie's going to have it. <laughs> you know? He doesn't seem happy. I want to see that eye. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, tell him to open it, though, so we can <laughs> really get a, so we, so we really get a look at it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's going to do it, Nick. He All was right. not happy. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's Steve like the, the, the Asian eye is uncircumcised. That's yep. what it is. <laughs> All right, kiddos. I'm in Dania, Florida. End the year the right way. Bring the new year the right way. Dania, Florida. Right. Fort Lauderdale, gotta, Florida. December gotta, 30th, January 1st. And I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina <laughs> in January. Get your tickets, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll be February 2nd in Jacksonville. Uh, I'm in St. Petersburg then, and then Orlando. And then um, the 24th, I'm in Lafayette, Indiana, Rockford, Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. 
uh, Tulsa and Los Angeles, uh, theovon.com slash tour. Thank you guys so much. And Merry Christmas to everybody that's out there that, that enjoys Christmas and holiday time. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't, I got stuff coming up, but whatever. I'll just, <laughs> next episode, we'll talk about it. <laughs> so I got, and we got to talk about these bonuses. Brennan, call me, man. Yeah, what's up, right, these, Doug? What's up with these bonuses? Well, it ain't Christmas yet. <laughs> That Santa that fucking bored us to death wasn't cheap. <laughs> Christmas bonus for everybody. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. God bless Bye. us, everyone. everyone. God bless us, everyone. King in the state. Back with the crew. We got Stevie Weeby, Eric Griffin, Brendan, Theo, too. Yeah, you know how we do it. So just tune in for the laughs. Theo said that he was on his way, but ran out of gas. Stevie Weeby used to wrestle down at Poway. Only finished boys in the hallway This ain't the greatest show on earth And what you call that Eric Griffin with them He the Nate Dogg of podcast Yeah, the whole crew sick It's the king and the stink What up, Jim? What up, Nick? CB Weeby, Eric Griffin Just walked in and got it lit You can't forget about Brendan He still need everything thick, thick, thick Still got the bees in the trap trapping Still the king and the stink So quit asking If you know then you know it's a cat's thing Ball and chain, hair swang like the rat king King and the stink, uh, back with the crew We got Stevie Weeby, Eric Griffin, Brendan, Theo too Yeah, you know how we do it, so just tune in for the laughs Theo said that he was on his way, but ran out of gas King and the stink King and the stink King and the stink King and the stink